Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. French club has made contact with Alexandre Lacazette. Alexandre Lacazette was on the bench and watched as Edin Ketea put Chelsea to the sword in Arsenal's 4-2 win at Stamford Bridge. Mikel Arteta benched the Frenchman days after he had spoken about his future and said he was speaking to other clubs. Nketiah's performance could mean the former Lyon man will not start a game for Arsenal again and this might be his last season at the club. Vigages.net claim one of his suitors is becoming serious about adding him to their squad when the transfer window reopens. The report claims Lyon has contacted the striker over a return to the club as a free agent at the end of his Arsenal deal. He was formed at the Ligue 1 side and left them to move to Arsenal in 2017. A return there will help him become the key man in a European club again and the Gunners will wish him the best of luck. Lacazette has never been a prolific goal scorer at the Emirates and there is almost no need to keep him in the club. He's great at holding the ball up and letting other players in, but strikers are paid to score goals and he will never score enough goals to help Arsenal achieve their objectives. Ian Wright left buzzing after what he's just heard Nketea say. Ed Nketea underlined his desire to make the Arsenal strikers spot his own with a double in a 4-2 win at Chelsea. There is an opportunity there to nail down a role in Mikel Arteta's attack with such uncertainty over the striking situation next season. Nketiah's contract runs out at the end of the season and he recently did an interview with the Beautiful Game podcast where he touched on a host of issues. Former Gunners striker Ian Wright said on the Kelly and Wrighty show that he was pleased with what he heard from the 22-year-old. I was thinking he was going to come back from Leeds with those guys not scoring and really making a real play for being the number 9 because I think he's got the box goal scoring ability to do it, said Wright. Can he link up play and do that? You are hoping he can as well. But what he hadn't done was any of that. I'd not seen great movement or urgency in him to understand the opportunity that was lying right there for him to take and run with. That's only his second start in a year. That's damning. When you consider Arsenal have scored the least amount of goals in the top 5. So, to see him start and I still believe that Lacazette has got to a stage of his career where he doesn't score the first goal and I'm not sure if he's going to score the second goal with the hunger and determination to still be about it. But for him, to do what now and listening to him to an interview the other day where he's saying he just wants to run, if I can get a run of games I believe I can get the goals together to score the goals in this team is great. Wright know what it takes to lead the line for Arsenal and has been one of Nketiah's biggest supporters following him when he went to Leeds. But he will also know it's down to the man himself to push himself to next level, shoving his way to the front of the queue and keeping himself there. The only way to do that is playing well and scoring goals and he should get that nod against Manchester United tomorrow. Arsenal are interested in signing Southampton fullback Tino Livramento. CBS Sports' Ben Jacobs has claimed in an interview that Arsenal are now interested in signing Southampton defender Tino Livramento this summer. The Gunners are still battling hard to get into the top four this season and their impressive recent win at Chelsea has put them right back into the mix. If Arsenal win all of their remaining fixtures, they will qualify for the Champions League and that would be a remarkable achievement considering where they were after the first three games of this campaign. Irrespective of where they will finish this season, Arsenal are expected to have a big summer transfer window and they now have a surprising new name on their wish list. In this summer transfer window, Arsenal will need two new strikers, a central midfielder, a wide player and potentially even a right back if Cedric Soares leaves the club. Jacobs, in an exclusive interview with Arsenal442.com, revealed the players Arteta is looking to sign this summer and the surprise name on the list is Southampton star Livramento. The CBS Sports journalist said both Arteta and Edu would love to bring Lille's Jonathan David to the Emirates Stadium but Dominic Calvert-Lewin might be a more realistic target. Arsenal have also been in talks for around a year with Leicester City midfielder Yuri Tielemans and Southampton defender Tino Livramento is also on Arteta's wish list. 
Livramento only joined Southampton from Chelsea last summer, but he has made a terrific name for himself already. The youngster has impressed everyone, including ex-Arsenal star Theo Walcott, who sees a bit of Gareth Bale in the 19-year-old. Lautaro Martinez doesn't want Arsenal, but he's ready to sign for Liverpool. According to Tutu Mercato Web, Inter Milan striker Lautaro Martinez does not fancy a move to Arsenal, but he's more than willing to join Liverpool. The Argentine has been linked with a move away from the San Siro since last summer. Tottenham and Arsenal were both keen then, and Spurs even reportedly had a big bid accepted. Martinez, however, turned that move down and signed a new contract. His deal runs until the summer of 2026, but the Nerazzurri are prepared to sell him this summer in order to raise funds. Arsenal and Liverpool have both been linked with a move to sign the 24-year-old, but he's only willing to join one of these two clubs. The report claims that Martinez is at the center of Inter's plans this season, and rightly so. He is their main man, and if the Nerazzurri are to defend their Scudetto, he will have to continue his good form until the end of the season. However, once the campaign is done, Inter will not stand in his way if a big offer comes in. They have even identified Paulo Dybala as a potential replacement, but Martinez just won't join any club that comes in for him. The report claims that the Argentine only wants to join a club where he will have the chance to win the biggest trophies. Liverpool have been named as a side that he'd jump at the chance of signing for this summer, but the report claims that Martinez doesn't fancy Arsenal, even though the Gunners are very keen to sign him. Bundesliga expert confirms Arsenal interest in Marcel Sabitzer. Christian Falk has confirmed that Arsenal are interested in a deal to sign Bayern Munich midfielder Marcel Sabitzer. The Austria international is yet to impress after joining from RB Leipzig last summer and is already being touted for an exit in the coming window. Last season, he was immense in scoring 9 goals and assisting 7 in his 39 outings in all competitions but he has just the one goal contribution since moving to the club in this summer on a free transfer. Bayern are now claimed to be ready to allow the midfielder to leave after just one year in Munich, and Falk claims that both Arsenal and Atletico Madrid are interested in such a deal. We could do with an addition in behind the striker, with Martin Odegaard and Emile Smith-Rowe currently vying for the role, and with the current hope that we will be playing in Europe next term, extra bodies will be required to cover for the extra matches. It has been mooted that Smith-Rowe could well cover as a false nine also, which could increase the need for another attacking midfielder. Sabitzer has been linked with Arsenal for some time, and his asking price could well prove to be too attractive to overlook, also, to leave Bayern and choose us over Atletico, we may need to secure that Champions League spot. Newcastle United are ready to offer Arsenal target Felipe Coutinho the same terms as on his Barcelona contract. According to reports from Spain, Newcastle United are ready to offer Felipe Coutinho the same terms as on his Barcelona contract and sign the former Liverpool attacker ahead of Aston Villa and Arsenal. Sport report that in Newcastle are keen to complete a deal for £33.3 million. Since returning to Premier League and joining Steven Gerrard's side on loan last January, Coutinho has shown signs he's back to his best scoring for goals and assisting three. The report says that Aston Villa would like to delay the full payment for Coutinho or sign him for a lower price, and with Barca keen to offload his wages, a move to Newcastle this summer is likely. Newcastle are in position to meet the asking price and they have told his representative that they will also match the wages he's currently on. It remains to be seen if Arsenal will be keen on signing Coutinho. Arsenal is pushing to add Ruben Neves to their squad despite serious competition. Arsenal will be busy in the next transfer window if they seriously want to keep making progress next season. Considering how they ended the last campaign, there has been an improvement in their performance so far. Mikel Arteta allowed several senior players to leave and they didn't strengthen the team in the last transfer window. Yet, they are challenging to end the season inside the Champions League places. Whether or not they achieve that, the smart thing to do is strengthen their current group and reports have been linked several players with a move to the Emirates. One name that remains on the wish list is Wolves' Ruben Neves and Toto Vigaches claims the midfielder is a priority target. 
The Portugal star has been one of the finest players in his position in England since he helped his present club to gain a promotion to the Premier League. The report claims Barcelona, Chelsea and Manchester United also want to sign him, but the Gunners remain confident they will win the race for the 45 million euros star. Neves would be another quality addition to our midfield, and he might be the best partner for Thomas Party in our center. At 45 million euros, he would cost a lot of money, but from what we have seen from him, he's probably worth the fee. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.